The federal government has unveiled a new strategic roadmap and action plan, SRAP 2021-2024, for the National Information Technology Development Agency, NITDA, to align with the National Digital Economy Policy and Strategy, NDEPS. The unveiling of the strategy, which held concurrently with an anniversary lecture as part of activities to celebrate NITDA's 20 years of establishment, was themed Celebrating Growth and resilience. Unveiling the roadmap, Dr. Isa Pantami, Minister of Communications and Digital Economy, urged NITDA to focus more on information technology project clearance, create awareness on the Nigerian data protection regulation, and all the key areas of the IT sector. The journey so far has been very commendable, but when it comes to our surveillance, we need to increase more so that we will be able to fight corruption through reducing the price of IT projects being executed by the federal public institutions. We need to also improve when it comes to Nigeria data protection regulation. This is an area which I think we need to continue to create more awareness with regards to Nigeria data protection regulation and what is uh, contained therein. This is another area which I compel NIDA to ensure that there is a very serious improvement, particularly creating awareness. The Director General of NIDA, Mr. Kashifu Inoa, said the NDEPS needed a strategic action plan by stakeholders for achievements to be recorded. With the National Digital Economy Policy and Strategy for Digital Nigeria, we are shifting from using IT as an enabler to using IT as a source of inspiration to create wealth and prosperity. Because we are talking about digital Nigeria, we are talking about digitalizing everything we do, which we have started the implementation. We are working on digitalizing our agri sector, digitalizing our education sector, digitalizing the banking sector, digitalizing almost everything. So the strategy is going to help in coming up with new ideas on how to disrupt the conventional way of doing things and digitalize everything in Nigeria. Mr. Abdul Hakim Ajijola, a cybersecurity expert and guest lecturer at the event, said the agency had recorded great achievements, increased ICT awareness, created jobs, contributed to internet penetration, empowered youths, improved IT to contribute to gross domestic products, among other strides. There is no area, ladies and gentlemen, of IT that is not important. But in my opinion, NIDA should consider focusing, or if I may say, refocusing on a few areas. And it is doing so, but this is just the ginger you on a bit more. Building of human capacity, full stop. Jesus had his disciples, Muhammad had his Sahaba. It's about people. That is the real legacy. Long-term investment, in my opinion, is required at the primary level. We also need to leverage students as ambassadors of technology. We must continue and continually build self-sustaining ecosystems with the awareness that accredited people are the basis of a startup economy while leveraging PPPs where possible and practical. I'm further appreciating that multi-stakeholder consultation and decision-making processes work in the best interest of all of us. IT presents, in my opinion, a societal opportunity to generate wealth, create jobs, and as a byproduct, generate revenue in the form of taxes for government. We are seeing this with NIDA. We need to continue. Mr. Abubakar Nuhu, Acting Director General of National Directorate of Employment, NDE, said the organization was leveraging ICT for job creation, hence sharing a similar vision with NIDA. I wish to state that NIDA and the National Directorate of Employment share similar visions and responsibilities of some sort. And to that extent, the two organizations are partners in progress because our mandate in the NDE is to create mass employment opportunities for the unskilled and unemployed persons through training in vocational 
in agricultural and entrepreneurial skills, as well as being active in the public works sector. The NDE, therefore, leverages the vast opportunities within the ICT sector towards the actualization of this goal.